Somchenko. President, please be seated. Hong Kilum Brea. Pacam talk at Maka is back in session. Reprise de l'audience. Call officer, please invite two TC CP two four seven Veuillez faire entrer plus and the support staff from TBO, 247, Madame Chai Marilyn, into the courtroom. President, good afternoon, Madame Civil Party. What is your name? Bon après-midi. Quel est votre nom? Madame Civil Party, please wait for microphone to go on before you give your statement. Madame, veuillez attendre que votre micro soit allumé pour prendre la parole. Civil Party, my name is Chum Sam Mun. Je m'appelle Chum Sam Mun. Question: When were you born? Quand êtes-vous né? Answer. I was born on the 4th of March 1960. Question. Where were you born? Question. Et où êtes-vous né? Answer. I was born in Prum Pret village, Chuk commune, Chuk district, Kampot province. Question. And what is your current address? Question. Quelle est votre adresse? Answer. My current address is at Kumtie Kangkabong, Andong Khmer District, Kampung Bai, Kampot Province. Dans la province de Kampot. Question. Question. What are your parents' names? Comment s'appellent vos parents? Answer. My father's name is Chum Chien, and as for my mother, her name was Pe On. Pe On. Question. And what about your husband? What is his name? Question. How many children do you have est together? De votre époux? Et combien d'enfants avez-vous? My husband's name is Rutchret. I have Mon five children. Mon mari Rutchret et j'ai cinq enfants. President, thank you, Madame Chum Samuel. Le président. As a civil Merci, Madame party. Chum Samuel. You may make a victim's impact statement if any concerning the crimes which are alleged against the two accused. And harms inflicted upon you during the democratic Kampuchea. Et les préjudices que vous avez subis pendant la période du Kampuchea démocratique. Under Internal Rule 91 BIS of the ECCC, the Chamber gives the floor to the lead co-lawyer to put questions before other parties. And the 
combined time for lead co lawyer and uh, co, co prosecutors is one session. You may now proceed, lead co lawyer. La parole est à la partie Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. President. Je cède la parole uh, à ma consoeur, Maître to my, uh, colleague, uh, Council Sauvanari. President, you may now proceed, civil party lawyer, Maître Sauvanari. Lawyer. Thank you. Good afternoon, Mr. Merci. President, Your Honours. Bon après-midi, Monsieur le Président. Parties Madame to the proceedings, everyone in and around the bonjour courtroom. Good afternoon, Madame Civil bonjour, Party. Madame I have Partie. some questions for you, and thank you for being here and give your responses. I would like to know where did you live Je before 1975, and what did you do? Avant 1975, et quelle était votre occupation? Answer. Réponse. I lived in Trapeangliang village, dans le village de Trapeangliang, Chuk commune Chuk district. Dans le, I was young at dans that le district time. de Chuk. Et j'étais jeune à l'époque. Question. Question. What did you do in 1973? Et quelle était votre occupation en 1973 Answer. Réponse. In 1973, I lived en in 1973, Division 11. At that time, I was 13 years old. J'avais 13 ans. And I was asked to carry earth. Et on m'a demandé de transporter de la terre. Rather, I was asked to carry rice. Lawyer, thank you. So when you were 13, you joined the soldiers in Division 11. And where was that division station? Où cette division était-elle postée? Answer. Réponse. The soldier was stationed at uh, Tom district, Kandal province. Question. Question. Who was the commander of uh, Division Comment 11? Comment le commandant de la Division 11? Answer. His name Réponse. was Kao Sam-on. Son nom était Kao Sam-on. Question. Question. Regarding Division 11, which zone was Division 11 un under? Sous quelle zone la division? Answer. I do not know. À quelle zone la division 11 répondait-elle? Réponse. Je ne sais pas. Question. Could you tell the court why did you Question. join Khmer Rouge at that time? Pourquoi avez-vous rejoint les rangs des Khmer Rouge à cette époque? Answer. Réponse. The reason that I joined Khmer Rouge soldiers is to liberate les soldats Khmer Rouge the King Norodom Sihanouk. Libérer le roi Norodom Sihanouk. Question. Question. You stated that 
at that time you joined the Khmer Rouge forces and uh, you told the court that you were instructed to carry rice or food supplies, de said the lawyer. And uh, where aliments. did you bring uh, that rice to? Les avez -vous transporté? Answer. I was instructed to carry rice. I did not know the name of the village. Je ne I had pas le nom to du bring the rice to one village. Je devais apporter du riz dans un village. Uh, that village was close to Tulkrosang. Un village proche de Tulkrosang. Question. Could you tell the Question. court the place where you had to bring rice to? Was it uh, the battlefield which was uh, going on? Y avait-il des combats? Était-ce un champ de bataille là où vous apportiez le riz? Answer. Réponse. I brought rice to the area battlefield and uh, people from the front of battlefield would come and uh, get the rice. Une zone où il y avait un champ de bataille et euh, des gens venaient du front pour euh, récupérer le riz. Vous souvenez-vous s'il y avait des enfants dans l'unité à laquelle vous apportiez du riz? Answer. As for réponse. my colleagues, they uh, were of the same age as me. Les autres avaient le même âge que moi. Lawyer, how many Question. of them were there in your unit? Combien y en avait-il? Answer, there were ten of us in my group. Réponse, nous étions dix dans mon groupe. Question. Now I would like Question. to ask you about the period of an, the 17th of April 1975. After the after Phnom Penh or was liberated, so where de, de did you go? April, allé, did you change your workstation? Answer. Question. When Phnom Penh was liberated in 1975, uh, my division was Après moved to do rice farming in Wat Kdol, west of uh, Stung Mien Che. It was far from a uh, glass making factory. C'était loin de l'usine de fabrication de verre. Lawyer, thank you. Question. When your division was moved to do rice farming at uh, Wat Kdol, quand votre division a été envoyée à Wat Kdol pour faire pousser du riz, was there and was were there any changes in the, your division was your division uh, had the original name that is uh, division votre 11 division a-t-elle gardé son numéro d'origine à savoir la division 11? answer réponse at that time my division was named division 11 nothing nothing changed pas changé. in my division ma division était toujours la division 11 Lawyer, thank you. After you Question. were engaged in rice farming Merci. at uh, Wat Kdol, what did you do after that time? Qu'avez-vous fait après être allé faire pousser du riz à Wat Kdol? Answer. After I, uh, were in, I was engaged in the rice farming at Wat Kdol, I 
Okay. It was moved to do rice farming at uh, the on factory, and later on, I was assigned to ensuite, make a fertilizer. On m'a affecté à la fabrication d'engrais. Lawyer, thank you. Question. And what about next? Uh, what did you do after that time? Yep. And where was your workstation? Où êtes-vous allé? Answer. And then I was uh, moved to do rice farming at O Bike Om. Je suis allé faire procédure à O Bike Om. Lawyer, thank you. Question. When you were at O Bike Om, were you still in Division 11? And -vous toujours partie did, de the com division did the composition in your division change? Votre division a-t-elle changé? Sa composition a-t-elle changé? At that time, Réponse. Division 502 com was combined with Division 11. That is my division. La division 502 et la division 11 qui était la mienne. Lawyer, thank you. Do you recall then? Question. Who was the commander of uh, division 502? Non, du commandant de la division 502. Answer. His name was May. Réponse. Il s'appelait Met. Lawyer, thank you. After Question. Division 502 and Division 11 Après were combined together, division 511. what was the name of your new division in, and who was the new commander? Qui était le nouveau commander? Answer, it was Réponse. made who supervised my new division. Qui était à la tête de la nouvelle division. Lawyer, thank you. After Question. Phnom Penh fell on 17 April 1975, were you required to give your biography? Avez-vous dû rédiger une biographie? Answer. I did not know at that time. And later on, the mate who was uh, my pas, à supervisor or commander tard, told me to go, told me that uh, uh, she went to the cooperative to try to find out uh, about my biography, bi biography and uh, she told me that I had been linked to the former regime because of my father was a former soldier. Some she knew about your biography. And uh, after you were found out that you had been affiliated with the former regime, uh, what did they assign you to do on a su que vous aviez at that time? Avec régime, que passé? Answer. My biography, biography was uh, found out. On a connu les détails de ma vie. And I was put in a unit which consisted of uh, members who had been affiliated with the former regime and I was assigned to carry earth for 10 days. I had to work alone at that time because I had been affiliated with the former regime. I did uh, the earth carrying work alone. I did that work according uh, according to their assignment c'est ce qu'ils m'ont dit de faire i did not know whether i did the work correctly i was je ne savais pas si in, je faisais bien mon I travail i was working in uh, one cooperative uh, west of uh, dans une coopérative à pochentong à l'ouest de pochentong
มนตรีรถบาสสมยกนะ President c o r p s please bring some tea soup for civil party apporter quelques mouchoirs à la partie civile จะสมอกกนเนี่ยสไสมอัน Lawyer thank you I would like to go on Merci I would like to ask you about one document that the document that you submitted to the court E3/4807 here and in Khmer is at 0057891980 87 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 6987 
Je suis arrivé de During nuit. which I did not know what was the situation like. Je ne the day after I was instructed to go to work and uh, I could see On that canals had already been dug. Que l'on avait déjà construit ou creusé des canaux. Question, where was the work site? Could you tell the court? Question, pouvez-vous nous dire où était ce Answer, I did not know where the work site was located. Je ne savais pas où il était. Question. Question. So... Why then you knew that it was uh, Kampong Chenang Airfield? Et comment saviez-vous qu'il s'agissait du chantier de l'aéroport de Kampong Chenang? Answer. Uh, Srun, who was my uh, unit chief, qui était mon chef told me that uh, that place was Kampong Chenang Airfield. Il s'agissait de l'aéroport de Kampong Chenang. <coughs> Lawyer, thank Question. you. Who was Srun? You said you stated that he was your chief. Vous avez dit il Did he tell you more chef? about the fact that uh, you were sent to Kampung Chenang Airfield? And did he tell you why they had to build an airport, that airport? Réponse. Answer, I did not know. Je ne savais pas. Lawyer, thank you. Question. When you first started work, how many workers were there at that work site? Combien d'ouvriers y avait-il quand vous avez commencé à travailler sur le chantier? Answer. Réponse. I noticed that there were many workers there, y avait beaucoup and I could not tell you how many workers were there. There were many of them. Il y en avait beaucoup. Question. Question. Did you know whether uh, the workers were all soldiers and uh, what kind of people were assigned to do the work at si ces gens des soldats? airfield? Et qui étaient les gens qui étaient affectés à travailler? Answer. They were all Réponse. soldiers. C'était tous des soldats. Lawyer, thank you. Question. Why did you know they were all soldiers? It was because they had. They, they wore military uniform or Portait they had the same uh, normal attire as a normal citizen? Des habits Answer. Réponse. They wore black attire Ils with des vêtements noirs cap. Avec une casquette. Lawyer, thank you. Question. Did you know where they were from, uh, which zones they were from? Saviez-vous de quelle zone ils venaient? Answer: Réponse. I did not know at that time. À l'époque, je ne savais rien de cela. Question. Question. I would like to ask about the work that you did at the airfield. Que vous nous what du were que vous you required to do when you arrived at Kampong Chenang Airfield? Quelles étaient vos tâches quand vous êtes arrivé à l'aéroport de Kampong Chenang? Answer. Réponse. Regarding my work, we had to carry swipe, uh, carry lock, a rock and uh, compact du soil et de la roche.
lawyer. Thank you. Yes, What about working times? Quand est-il des heures de travail? So, uh, when did you start work? À quelle heure commenciez-vous les travaux? I did not notice about the time. The unit chief uh, would would tell us uh, to get ready and uh, go to work. And uh, in the evening, we were told that uh, we had to keep uh, our tools properly and uh, go to have meal. And after meal. In the evening, uh, we were told to get back to work at night. Lawyer. I would like to confirm with you concerning the statement or information that I got. Is that correct to say the workers were required to work three times per day in the morning, in the afternoon, and after they had lunch, they had to resume work at night? Is that correct? Answer, yes, that is correct. Question. Question. After you had your dinner, can you tell the court, if you recall, how many more hours were Après you required dîner, to work at night? Vous vous pendant combien de temps on vous demandait de travailler encore? Answer. After we had our dinner, we Et had a little bit of rest. And we nous had nous to resume après. working again, oui. although I did not know the exact uh, hour that Mais we had to start. We continued working until nous we were told to stop. We didn't have a watch uh, at the time. Question on the issue of food ration. Question au sujet des rations alimentaires. You, after you woke up, you had to uh, go to work early in the morning, were you given food matin, for breakfast and was the food ration for lunch and dinner sufficient? Pour le dîner et pour le repas du soir, suffisante? And uh, there was no breakfast Réponse. given to us at all. On ne pas du tout de petit for lunch, we were given cooked rice Nous mixed with uh, corn. That is, uh, two cans of cooked rice mixed with ten corn. Ten cans of corn for the group. And maïs it was groupe. not sufficient at all. Du tout. As for the soup, it was souped with some spicy herb Dans la soupe, il or y avait some herbes morning glory. I never saw any feast in the soup. Je jamais vu de poisson dans la soupe. Question. You said uh, the daily food ration for your group was two cans of rice and ten cans of corn. Does it mean that uh, this food ration covered your lunch and dinner, that is for the whole group? And just the ration is for both lunch and dinner. Oui, la ration comprend tant le déjeuner que le dîner. Question. Is it correct Question. that this food ration is for your est entire group? And actually, how many members in your group who had to share this food ration on a daily basis. Combien de personnes devaient se partager cette ration alimentaire quotidiennement? Answer. Réponse. 
In my platoon, there were 36, section, 33 uh, people. 33 However, there were three groups, Mais and uh, these are uh, platooned, and the ration I mentioned was for this 11 member group. Était pour ce groupe de 11 personnes. Pour un groupe de 11 personnes. Question. You just te testified that you had to work during the night. Question. Were you given any supplementary food besides lunch and dinner for the hours that you worked uh, during the night? Answer, no, there was no uh, supper or supplementary food. Question. Now I'd like to touch upon the issue of uh, sanitation. Can you uh, tell the chamber about the uh, food or water sanitation? Were you provided with uh, clean and drinking water? And so, no, the water we drank was uh, unhygienic as we had to drink water from the creek. Depuis la rivière. Question. Did workers uh, have to bath themselves in that uh, creek and drink the water from the same source? Dans cette rivière et boire également à partir de cette rivière? Answer. Indeed. Uh, that same stream or creek was a oui. place where we bathed ourselves and we drank. Nous nous dans cette rivière et nous buvions également l'eau de la même rivière. Question. Now I'd like to ask you about the uh, resting time. During the period of three to five months that you worked there, were you allowed to, to rest? For example, how many days were you allowed to rest per week or per month? Was there such an arrangement in place? And so, no, there were no resting times. There were always working times or literally attacking time at uh, the site. Unless you fail sick, that is, you fail dizzy or you fail fatigue from your monthly menstruation, otherwise you would not be allowed to rest. Question. Allow me to give you an example. For instance, uh, for the morning, you had to go to work, that is, uh, your group. Was there any brief uh, resting time for the morning session? And what about the afternoon session? Was there a short break? And so uh, during the working hours, there was no uh, break at all. We could only rest a little bit at meal time, then we had to return to work again. Question. Question. What was the arrangement for your sleeping quarter? Could you enlighten Comment the chamber? Se Quelles étaient les modalités pour dormir? Answer. At night time, I saw a ready made sleeping quarter in a form of a, a long le building. Soir, il y avait un long bâtiment, and un they built actually a, a stack where we could sleep on. Et il y avait there was no sleeping mat or mosquito net. We simply slept on the dead floor or rack. Question. 
at your sleeping quarter, were you annoyed by bed bugs or insects or mosquitoes? And so, yes, there were, and for that reason, we gathered three leaves uh, and burn, burn it in order to, uh, to have the smoke chasing away the mosquitoes. Question. Did the management on site uh, take any measure que, site, uh, to prevent or to eliminate those insects or mosquitoes from the working site? site. And so, uh, no, I Et never saw any measure taken non, regarding this matter. Question: What about the personal hygiene? Question: Where do you or your peer appear given soap or detergent? À vous, ou à vos pères, du savon, du or if they did not provide you with this necessity, were you allowed to have your own? Et si tel n'était pas le cas, alors aviez-vous le droit d'avoir votre propre savon ou Answer. détergent? We Worked and after work, uh, we had to nous bathe ourselves, and there was no soap or whatever. Nous laver, il avait Nothing pas de at all. Savon, ni rien rien du tout. We sometimes had to use Parfois. the dry bag from fruit in order to uh, clean our skin. And many of us uh, were infected by uh, lice, both on the head and on our skin. Question. During the period that you worked there, who made Question, the work assignment the for your group in terms of daily work quota? Who made that determination? Que votre groupe Qui fixait les quotas? And sir, I did not know uh, anything about the uh, work assignment for the group. Je ne I bien only carried du the earth as I was instructed to do, that is to carry the earth uh, to build uh, the uh, road at the work site so that site. the road could be later enfin compressed. But I had no idea about the work quota. Je ne rien des quotas de travail. Question, so Question. you did not know about uh, the daily work quota. Donc vous ne saviez rien des quotas quotidiens. Did you experience any blame uh, from your superior? That's your team, for example, or your group did not complete that uh, particular day work quota? Atteint le quota qui lui avait été And so, uh, no, it uh, never happened. Non, cela n'a jamais été le cas. Question. Question. During the time that you work there, that is uh, morning session, afternoon session, and uh, sometimes night session, were you allowed to talk to other peer workers within your group? Or were you allowed to talk to other workers in the different groups? Dans le groupe, dans and so, uh, no, we were uh, prohibited non. from speaking to nous one another and we had to concentrate on working. Nous devions nous concentrer sur le travail. Question. What about the freedom Question. of movement? Were you allowed to move away from your assigned location to another location? Vous rendre à un autre endroit. 
librement. Pouvez-vous aller d'un endroit à l'autre Réponse. No, our movement was restricted. The only movement we could make was from where we stayed to the work site. Qui nous qui nous était autorisé était d'aller de là où nous dormions à l'endroit où nous travaillions. Question. Question. So you were not allowed to move freely during the working hours. What about at night time? That is, when you were off work, were you allowed to move freely and were you allowed to speak to your peer workers? And so. No, uh, not even during the night time. We were not allowed to, to move freely. After we returned to our sleeping quarter, we had to rest there. Question. And during the time that you were there, rest there any time that uh, it rained, and if there is a case, were you allowed to stop temporarily while it was raining? Answer, no, Réponse, we had non. to work uh, although it was raining. Question, how many times did this happen, that is, you were working while it was raining? Question. Combien de fois avez-vous dû travailler alors qu'il pleuvait Answer. To my recollection, it happened only one time. D'après mes souvenirs, cela n'est arrivé qu'une fois. Question. While it was raining, were you able to seek permission to stop Étant dit qu'il pleuvait, avez-vous le droit de demander la permission de cesser ou d'interrompre votre travail pendant un moment Answer, we were not allowed to stop. Réponse, nous n'avions pas le droit de nous arrêter. Question, were you given any reason that you were not allowed Question. to stop uh, while it rained Et vous a-t-on donné une raison Vous a-t-on dit pourquoi and so, no, they did not give uh, us so any reason to, because they presumed that we had to continue working under the rain. Please turn on the microphone, uh, lawyer for civil parties. Question. Were you provided uh, necessities while you were working, for example, a hat or a raincoat uh, to protect you from the rain? Answer. No, we were not given such necessities. I only had a cap, which was uh, barely enough to protect my face. There was no hat, uh, no raincoat given to us. Question. During the period that you worked there, were you instructed to attend uh, a livelihood meeting, and if so, what, how it was organized, and what was the content of such meetings? Answer. The meetings were held, and the main gist of the meetings were for us to strive to work harder to achieve the work quota. And nothing else was the main focus besides this one. Question. And during those meetings, was there any mentioning of uh, the work plan from the upper level? And was there a session where you had to criticize your peer and where your peers would criticize you? Answer, no, there was no uh, 
criticism or self criticism. As I said, the main focus was uh, to try to work harder each day. Le principal message était que nous devions travailler avec plus de zèle chaque jour. Question. Due to the nature of hardship of the work on site, the lack of food and the lack of hygiene, did you ever fall sick? Or did you observe that any of your peer workers fall sick? And I did not know about uh, other workers, but I myself uh, had a an infection on my hand, Moi, and that I could then lick the soil. I were instructed to actually to put the soil in through the baskets for other workers to carry away. Question. And while you were sick, was there a medic on site? But you provided me with any medicine for your treatment? Or were you allowed to rest? Answer. We were given a rapid drop pellet. And I actually asked uh, for permission not to rest, but I was not allowed, as I was told that I was sick only in one hand, and I could, see, I could, I could continue working with the other hand. Question, during the few months period that you worked there, Question. What benefits did you receive from your direct uh, supervisor or from the management of the airfield work site in exchange of your hard work? And so there was no benefit given to me at all. Rien du tout. Je n'ai reçu aucun bénéfice. Question. Let me go back to the time that you were assigned to go and work there. Question. Could you refuse to go to the airport or work site? Or did any of your peer workers refuse to go? Answer. No one dared to refuse. Réponse. Personne n'a osé refuser. Question. After you completed Question. your work at the airport, uh, Compostion Airport uh, work site, were you assigned to work elsewhere? And if so, where? And what kind of work were you assigned to do next? Answer after I concluded my work at uh, Kampongchenang Airfield, my company was uh, transferred uh, to go to Phnom Penh to, to carry bricks and to carry them onto the train wagons, and the train will transport those bricks to Kampongchenang. Question. Could you uh, tell the court about Question. the hardship of carrying bricks onto train wagons for the transportation to Akumpongchenang? What kind of hardship uh, did you face? Answer. Réponse. My 30 member platoon was assigned to uh, carry bricks and put them onto train wagons. Our, our fingers were bleeding at times as the child, as the bricks were still hardly uh, 
taken from the oven. We had to do it uh, urgently as it was needed for the Kampong Chenang project. Question. Allow now to touch upon another topic. As you mentioned in your supplementary information form, that is EC slash 4807, on page with Khmer and 00578979, and in English 00846968, and in French 00578977. You uh, mentioned that in around 1978, you were, you were forced uh, to get married. Could you elaborate a little bit further on the fact that you were forced uh, to get married? Answer. In late 1978, I was forced to uh, marry a man in a five-couple wedding ceremony. I did not know the prospective uh, husband at all. We were asked to sit on one side, while the men were asked to sit on another row, opposite, opposite us. We were asked to stand to hold hand and to make a resolution and then to return to our respective uh, sleeping quarter. When I were forced to get married, I refused, and I was threatened that if I were not to do so, I would never date a man throughout my life. If I was, if I was caught smiling at a man, I would risk being killed. So I was scared. Although I did not love that man, I had to force myself to marry him. And after the marriage, we were asked to, to go to have a, a, a sleeping quarter, that is, have a room. My whole body was uh, trembling. And I, I was very afraid. And I told him, please, uh, don't do anything to me. And the man did uh, not do anything to me. I was uh, fortunate enough for that. Then I heard the footsteps outside the room. I began to be uh, trembled again. Question. My last question regarding this topic is the following. Are you still living with the man who was uh, your husband as organized by Anka at the time? Answer. No. Réponse. Three days after the marriage, non, we separated. So thank you, uh, Madam Civil Party. I thank you for answering my question. And Mr. President, I am done. President, thank you, lawyer for civil parties. The chamber now would like to hand the floor to the deputy co-prosecutor to put questions to the civil party, and you may proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Good afternoon, Madam Civil Party. We only have a few minutes, so uh, I'd ask that your responses be as brief as possible to the questions that I have. I'd like to start by asking a couple of questions on the topic that you were just addressing, your marriage uh, during the Khmer Rouge period. You mentioned uh, that um, following your marriage, uh, you returned to some sort of dwelling 
with your husband, uh, indeed at your um, supplemental civil party application, it's E3 slash 4807, you said the following, quote, after eating a meal together, each of the couples went home at dusk, well-armed informers came right into our homes to check whether or not we were getting along with each other. Even after marriage, we did not have sexual intercourse. I told my husband to keep it a secret because we were both in the same boat. When the regime ended, we did not live together." Close quote. Can you explain a bit further what you me meant when you said that well-armed informers came to check whether you were getting along with each other? Venez vérifier ce qu'il, si vous vous entendiez bien ou pas. There were measures who came to eavesdrop on us. I did not know whether these militias were armed, as I did not see them. I only heard their footsteps. And what were they trying to hear, do you know, when they were eavesdropping on you? Question, et savez-vous ce qu'ils essayaient d'entendre alors qu'ils écoutaient aux portes? They wanted to know whether we consummated the marriage. And can you explain why you thought Question. you had to keep it a secret that you had not consummated the marriage with your husband? Because I was afraid that they knew. Peur qu For that reason, le I told him to keep it a secret. Je lui ai dit de garder le secret. I was alleged of having an affiliation as both my father and my stepfather were et mon former servants of the Lunol regime. Du régime de and what did you fear Question. would occur if they knew that you had not consummated your marriage? Que pensez-vous? Que pensez-vous qu'il se serait passé si vous s'ils avaient su que vous n'aviez pas consommé le mariage? In fact, we did not consummate our marriage as I was afraid of him. Of course, we Cambodian girls would not willingly give ourselves to the men that we just knew. And for that reason, my body was uh, trembled and I actually begged him uh, to keep a secret that we did not consummate our marriage. I understand. Perhaps I was not clear in my question. What I'm trying to find out is why were you afraid to the point that you felt you needed to keep it a secret that you had not consummated your marriage? What did you think would occur if the Khmer Rouge discovered that you had not consummated your marriage? Answer, I did not know what would happen if they found out. At that time, I told my husband that I was scared after the marriage, and I told him to keep the secret that we did not consummate our marriage. One final question on this topic. Do you remember Dernière who it was that led your marriage ceremony? Uh, uh, Answer. It was uh, my unit chief, mate, who met. arranged the marriage for me. Qui a organisé ce mariage. And did Met also lead the ceremony? 
or did he just arrange the marriage? A-t-il, est-ce que Met a-t-il organisé le mariage, mais aussi, était-il aussi président de la cérémonie? Réponse. Answer. He paired me to with my husband. C'est lui qui m'a choisi mon mari. And after he paired you Question. with your husband, and there was the ceremony with the five couples, et qu'il y a eu cette cérémonie did he also couples. lead that ceremony in which you and the five other couples were married? A-t-il présidé à cette cérémonie? Réponse. Answer. After he paired us up, oui, après, he euh, was also in the, the marriage. Il a officié le mariage. Thank you. I'd like to move now uh, to ask you about uh, your uh, how, how it was that you came to be um, in Division 502 uh, in uh, the rice fields, uh, and then were subsequently moved to the airport work site. Uh, you stated in your supplementary application E3-48087, this is at ERN zeros, English ERN 00846968, French 00578977. Eight nine seven seven Kamai zero zero five seven eight nine seven nine the following quote I was transferred to Old Bekam in Phnom Penh to work in rice farming because of my bad biography. This is because my father, Chung Chien, was a policeman under the Sihanouk regime. In addition to that, my stepfather, Lo Chia, was a Lan Nol soldier. Close quote. Is that correct, uh, as you stated um, in your supplementary application, uh, and as you clarified a bit in questioning this afternoon, that after you provided a biography and it was discovered that your uh, father and stepfather uh, had connections to the Sihanouk and La Nol regime, respectively, that you were transferred to Al Bakkam to rice farm. Answer. It is correct. Oui, they exact. found out that my Ils father was a police, a former policeman, and that my stepfather was a former soldier. Avait été and after they found out, they sent me to Obak Obak. And did they ever tell you, or did you Question. ever have an opinion about? why it was that you were considered to have a, quote, bad biography, close quote, because you were related to a former Lan Nol soldier. Answer. Could you repeat your question? Absolutely. You stated uh, in your supplemental application uh, that you were transferred to El Bekom, quote, because of my bad biography, close quote. Why was it that simply because your father was, uh, or your stepfather, uh, was a Lan Nol soldier and your father was a Sihanouk policeman, that you were considered to have a bad biography? In the biography, it was said that my father's 
were related to former regime, and it was said that I had a bad biography. Madam Civil Party, also in your civil party, uh, uh, sorry, in your civil party application. Um, D22 slash 1067. Uh, you stated in relation to your transfer to, to do rice farming in Albacom, quote, the Khmer Rouge, therefore, categorized me in a group of people who had tendencies, so-called, as enemies, relatives. They assigned me to farm there since I was regarded as a prisoner. Close quote. Is that correct, that after they knew of your biography, the Khmer Rouge regarded you as a prisoner? Après avoir lu votre biographie, les Khmer Rouge vous considéraient comme une prisonnière? Answer. They said I was a prisoner. Oui, ils ont dit que j'étais prisonnier. And to the best of your Question. knowledge, did you continue to be considered a prisoner vous when you were transferred to the Kampong Chenang vous airport comme une prisonnière lorsque site. vous avez été transféré au chantier de l'aéroport de Kampong Chenang? Answer. They, consider, uh, they continue to consider me as a prisoner. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I see my time is up. Merci, thank you, Madam Civil Party. Merci, Madam La Partie Civile. So, Makonluk. Le Président. President, thank Merci, you, Monsieur Procureur. Mr. Court Prosecutor, it is now convenient time for the short break. The, the Chamber will take pause. the break from now until 3 o'clock. The court is now in recess. Suspension of audience.